Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex and I post videos about all things print on demand. So if you want to learn more about sites like Redbubble, Society6, and Amazon Merch, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. So for today's video, I thought I'd switch things up from all of my Redbubble videos and actually show you how you can make really easy, really nice designs on a website called Canva in under 10 minutes. Since you guys liked the last video I made that was pretty similar to this one about Canva and quick designs, I thought I'd make a part two to show you some more things you can do on Canva and more ways you can make quick designs, especially as beginners or if you're just starting out in print on demand. For those of you that don't know, Canva is an online graphic design platform that allows you to create amazing designs no matter what skill level you're at. It's actually one of my favorite graphic design platforms out there. And even saying that, I feel like it is probably my number one. I can't think of one that I like to use more than Canva because it has such a wide variety of things for you to use on there that you can really create endless amounts of designs and never get sick of it. If you guys watched this video and want to try Canva out for yourself, make sure to check out the link I have in my description bar below. I have a one week trial or two weeks, I can't remember, but either a one or two week trial for a Canva Pro account for you guys. So I actually use Canva Pro because it has a lot more features and things that help you out in your print on demand business. Like you can make transparent backgrounds in the click of a button. You can actually save them as a transparent background, which comes in handy for t-shirts and other items. And then you can also save them as larger images than you would with the free Canva account. So for all those reasons and definitely a few more, I've been using the Canva Pro account for over a year now. So I highly recommend it. It's very affordable, definitely cheaper than the Photoshop suite. So either way, if you use free or pro account, I still recommend it, but it is worth investing in the pro account in my opinion. But before I get into this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content to come straight to your newsfeed. All right, but let's start designing. So in this video, I'll be taking a slightly different approach than the previous one I made about 10 minute designs on Canva. In that one, I show you guys some tips and tricks of types and styles of designs you can make. But in this one, I'm just gonna focus on how to actually make quick and easy designs so you don't have to think too much about it and you can kind of rinse and repeat this process whenever you wanna make a design. That being said, I'm gonna show you not only how to have a quick and easy process to follow for designs, but also for a couple of different products. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to make some quick and easy designs for a t-shirt, a phone case, and a wall tapestry. The reason I chose those three products is because I've noticed that not only for myself, but for other sellers on Redbubble, those are definitely within the top five selling products. So you might as well try to design for those top selling products. I know that those definitely do the best for me. So this is a good tip to have and good to start designing for those. So let's jump into my first design and I'll show you guys how to make it on Canva. So the first design I'll be making is for a phone case. Of course, you can upload this design to any of the products, but I am kind of tailoring this to something that someone might want to show off on their phone case. So let's start designing. All right, so for the phone case, I got the measurements or dimensions from Redbubble just to make sure it would look good and not stretched out on the phone case. And now I'm just looking for some fruit to put on there because that was kind of the idea I had in mind, just like a pattern of fruit. So as you can see, there are so many options here and most of them are customizable where you can change the color. As you can see right now, I am changing all of the colors on the strawberry that I picked out. And I thought that for the phone case, I would do just like a simple pattern because it's something that you can easily do in under 10 minutes and it's something that you can also easily replicate. So you can do that with different fruits, you can do it with different backgrounds. So I just wanted something simple to get you guys designing and to be able to put out a lot of designs um, quite easily. So here I am just arranging the strawberries in a way that I think looks nice and once I have kind of like one layer of it, I'm going to copy and paste it throughout the rest of the space available so that it looks super neat and it looks like I've just created a pattern. So this will definitely look good on the iPhone case. I think phone cases look best with just simple patterns on them, nothing too crazy or um, detailed. So yeah, I'm happy with how I spread these strawberries out and how they look. So now I'm going to work on the background color. Initially I was thinking a light pink, but I accidentally got to the yellows and I kind of really like that. So I did one yellow and one pink. Just to show you, you can do so many options and upload different ones. 
So here's the final design on an iPhone case mock-up and as you can see it really makes sense for a phone case. It's definitely something that you can definitely put on other products but it really shines on phone cases. So next let's get into my quick and easy t-shirt design. Okay, so here I'm just searching t-shirt in Canva because they already have so many pre-made t-shirt designs available for you. Now, of course, I do not recommend just fully copying these. If you use one, make sure you edit it and make sure you have the permission to actually use it for e-commerce and print on demand. So you can find that on the Canva website. But just to show you guys um, a general idea, something you can put on a t-shirt quickly. I chose this one that says all you need is love and dogs, but of course I like cats better, so I changed it to cat. And here I am customizing everything, so I changed the colors. And I actually wanna look for a picture of a cat to put on here as opposed to the paw print, or maybe both. We'll see if I have room for both. So yeah, I just searched cat, and as you can see, they have tons of options. So I'm just trying them out, seeing what looks best with the layout I have. I'm not really a t-shirt designer, as you guys probably already know, and it's definitely, I would say, like my weak spot when it comes to designing, so I am definitely trying to improve at that. So don't judge this. I know it's not like the best t-shirt ever, but I'm just testing things out, and I also want it to be a quick design, like I said, in 10 minutes, so I didn't want to do anything too complicated. So I ended up picking one cat image, and I used that, and there it is. So here is the final t-shirt design and as you can see it really fits the t-shirt product type and look really good on all clothing. Not to say you can't upload it on other product types, you definitely can, but it might not work quite as well for something like home decor. People probably wouldn't want this design for the most part on like a pillow or I don't know, a duvet cover, but you never know what sells. I've always been surprised in the past of what people buy on my products. so. Keep an open mind, there is always something for everyone, but for the most part, this is geared toward clothing items. And finally, let's design a quick and easy wall tapestry in under 10 minutes. So for the wall tapestry, I had a different idea than something I would normally do. I kind of wanted to make like a mountain sunset kind of image, but like with shapes. So as you can see here, I just went to the lines and shapes elements section. So not even like the graphics or anything. And I'm picking out shapes that I think would make this kind of scene. So just some triangles, some circles, and yeah, I'm just building it out um, with what I think it would look good. Then once I have a shape that I'm happy with, I'm going to start adding colors. Obviously I made the sun yellow and I'm making like the mountains green, different shades of green. Obviously it's lighter in the front and then like, darker in the back. And then here I'm just adding some sun rays because I thought the sky looked way too plain. Obviously I'm gonna change the sky to like a blue or something, but even so I thought it was too plain. The reason I actually went with this design is because I noticed in wall tapestries that this kind of landscape scenery design is very popular and sells very well. So I was like, why not try my hand at it and see if I can do a quick version of this in about 10 minutes. And yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with how it was coming along. And for Canva, I honestly think this outcome is amazing. Usually people do stuff like this on their iPad, on Procreate, but with the limited stuff you have available for like something like this, I think it turned out so good. And I actually wanna show you guys a little trick to make the curved edges of the sun rays. So just put another circle shape and we're gonna put that on top of all the sun rays so it gives the edges a curved look so that they're not just all like straight edges like they were right now. So make the second circle the color of your sky. So I'm just going with this light blue here. Put it there and now voila, all of the edges are curved the same shape as the circle. So I just think that looks a little better, a little cleaner. And it was just a little tip that I thought of while I was making this that might be able to help you guys, especially when you are working with limited shapes in this section. So here I'm just going over the fine details of what colors I actually wanna go with. I decided that the mountains needed a little more work so i added a few more mountainous layers and i ended up changing the colors a little bit more but overall i'm really happy with how this turned out once again i'm just trying a new style so it's not going to be perfect the first time around but i just want to show you guys how many different variations of styles you can actually make within canva and what they have to offer so here is the final design for this one and this one you really could put on 
almost any of the items. But it is nice to keep in mind a specific product sometimes when you're designing because that kind of helps you bring the vision together and it also helps decide what theme you're going to go with because of who might buy this product. So for example, for this one, I was envisioning a college student to buy this, so I stuck along with some trends I thought they might like as opposed to, I don't know, like a middle-aged mom that would decorate her home because she probably wouldn't be using this design. So something to keep in the back of your mind when you are designing regardless of what you're designing for. But those are all the designs I have for today. Let me know if you like this style of video and you want me to do some more of these. I'd honestly love to make this like a little series where I can do 10 minute designs for different products. So I can do like pillowcases, notebooks, I don't know, every product in the Redbubble catalog, just so you guys can get an idea of things you can design for them and how easy and quick it can really be to design. Not saying that you shouldn't take your time on them and some designs will always take more than 10 minutes because of what it is. But if you're not looking to invest too much time and just kind of want to get some designs out as a beginner, it's great to know that you can make them this quickly. Once again, if you want to try Canva Pro, go to the link in my bio to get a free trial of that. And like I said, it's super worth investing in it, especially for those little things that help your print on demand process. I know it's helped streamline my process, so I can't recommend it enough. Give this video a thumbs up if you like seeing these designs and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this and I will definitely have a part three coming out soon. Let me know which specific products you want me to design for in the next one and I'll keep those in mind and try to do as many of them as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your support, all of your subscriptions and likes and positive comments. I'm honestly so lucky to have such an amazing and positive community. Like I feel like 90, 6, 97% of my comments are positive, so I really love reading those and seeing them and trying to reply to as many of them as I can. So keep the positivity going because I really want to encourage that, not only on my channel, but on everyone's channel because I think it's amazing when you can have such a great community of people. But that's all I have for today, so I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!